Today, I will make a video tutorial about guilds and turf war. I believe many of you are already familiar with this mode in the game, but there are still many who need guidance, so I decided to make this video for a long-term purpose. The more new players there are, the more people will need this guidance, so I decided to create a video about it. If you feel this video helpful and useful for new players, please like, share, and subscribe so that this video can be recommended to more people. Let's get started. First, click on the guild section. I will briefly explain this section so that you understand it better. Here you can see the name of the guild you are in, the number of members, and the guild's level. Secondly, click on the bonuses section. It is used to boost your heroes and warlords. It also boosts various aspects like increasing the gold percentage when you win in the Hall of Fame, increasing the percentage when evolving heroes from common to rare to epic to legend, reducing the time it takes to open chests, and reducing the gold spent when leveling up heroes. The bonus stats increase when the guild master upgrades it. If you are the guild leader, you can increase its level, but keep in mind that you can only level it up in a specific order, not as you please. You will boost your squad when you accumulate G-Coin points, which you can earn by participating in Turf War and the Wish Shop. Thirdly, there is the Deals section. This is where you can buy coins to purchase troops, used in wars. It's recommended to buy guild resources here daily, although it's not mandatory and depends on your guild's directives. Fourthly, War Spoils. This is where you use coins obtained from deals, or earned when your guild captures territory in Turf War, to spin for rewards. You can win materials to level up your troops. If you are new and only have 6 hero troops, it's advisable to save up 2k coins to buy a legend troop before leveling it up, as leveling up legends will increase your troop strength faster. Fifthly, Vanguard. This is where you level up heroes within troops. As you reach a certain level, you'll need the purple elixir. Most players will run short of this when leveling up. The blue elixir is for order heroes, red for chaos, and green for nature. Prioritize leveling up legends, then epics, rares, and comets. Sixth is the member section. Here, you can view guild members, check if they've participated in wars, and see other information about members. Clicking on the hand icon will show your ranking within the guild during wars and guild ranking is important for determining your rewards. Seventh is the ranking section. This is where you can see the rankings of guilds. In the past, this section was frequently used because strong guilds would intentionally lower their rank to face weaker guilds and gain more territory. However, currently the arrangement of war guilds depends only on troops, so lowering rank doesn't have the same effect. Finally, we've reached the most important part, Turf War. Normally, the green-colored land is your guild's territory. Following your guild leader's instructions, the red aiming mark icon usually indicates an attack. Simply move all your troops there, and the white flag icon is where you should not place your troops. These are the reward percentages based on your ranking. If you are in a very low rank, you will hardly receive any rewards. To increase your rank within the guild, you can click on the boost section and use elixirs. The question is, how do you obtain these elixirs? You can find them in the Event Center Shop, Wish Shop, or if you are in a guild with many members who spend money in the game. Because every member receives an elixir when have a member deposits money into the game. The war occurs at specific times, which will determine your territory. Your guild needs to have more troops than the opponent's guild to capture the land. There are three time slots each day. 8 AM to end War Phase 1, 8 p.m. for War Phase 2, and 1 a.m. to end War Phase 3 and receive rewards. You can check the specific time slots in your country by following the time zone information here. Land areas with icons such as houses, trees, etc. have their own rewards and contribute to guild points, which help increase the guild's bonus levels, as I mentioned earlier. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you feel it helpful. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please feel free to comment on the video so that I can learn from you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. Bye!